Hey everyone, welcome back. I'm so sorry I've been gone for quite a few weeks, but we've had school holidays and a little family adventure that we took. So we're finally back into normal routine, hopefully. <laughs> and I've come back with this mum get ready with me. This is just a typical day look that I would use to do the school run and then run some errands afterwards. So if you'd like to see how I got this look and what I've used, then just keep watching. So my go-to mum makeup look is definitely not a five minute look. It's definitely not a no makeup makeup look. I, I use all my products. I use pra practically all the products that you can use. I just don't go really over the board glam. Um, it's just something that if I'm going to bother putting on makeup, I'm gonna I'm gonna use what I have because I I just like the look of just being totally done. Um, I just pair it back for daytime, um, and I would use this look to go to a school meeting or do the school run, things like that, run errands around the shops. So it's definitely not glam, but I do use a lot of products. Like I use basically everything in every genre, you know? I wouldn't go like heavy contour, but I still have my contour powder here in case I like, in case I think I need it for that day. This is the Clinique Even Better Glow Light Reflecting Makeup. I've already done my skincare routine this morning after my shower, uh, like during and after my shower. So I just put a bit on the back of my hand and then I just start where I want the most coverage, which is normally chin, um, cheeks, and then anywhere with a, a spot or a blemish. And I then work out from there. Um, so generally, you know, the sides of your face are the last, the last place that I do. And then I just briefly brush over my eye lids because I do like to have a little bit there, even though I do have the MAC Paint Pot in Painterly, I still like to have a little bit of foundation just to give even, even, <laughs> just to give even coverage. So I go blend down my neck and then I like this um, foundation because it is a nice, easy foundation to apply. It sinks right into the skin. It has a nice glow. It has decent coverage. So then I just add where I want more. You can use a primer. I have a primer right here. Did I put it on? No, <laughs> but I don't know. Primers, I don't think that they do a whole lot, but this one from Ulla Henriksen is lovely. So I just sort of put my foundation everywhere and then I get my concealer, which this one is the Fenty, um, what's it called? Pro Filter. And I just do my bags because we have a lot, <laughs> a lot of darkness there to cover up because my four, almost four year old daughter still doesn't sleep through the night. She still wakes up at least once to ask me for something, to get me out of bed to do something, either turn on the light or get some water or sing her a song. So she's normally got me up during the night to do something. So we've got some dark circles to cover up and then to balance that out, I do do a little bit through the center of my face, just because, especially with this foundation and this particular concealer, the colors are a little bit off, like this concealer is a bit lighter than A bit lighter than the um, foundation. 
so I just do that. Now I've just run out of my hourglass setting powder so I'm just going back to this um, light reflecting what are they called the luminous light these setting powders so this does crease on me if I use too much but I do still want to set that a little bit but this is sort of going along with today's theme of being a bit more dewy a bit more glowy anyway so I'm not using a ton and I used the damp beauty blender but I just sort of want a little bit of something and see basically that is it for my base and then it is all you know this is a morning mum routine you know so I've done a whole lot of other things to get the kids ready for school so I don't I don't sit around and you know take my time with my makeup but I do still obviously want it to look good and done so my hourglass um, nude bronze light and I just bronzy bronzy up everything I find that this um, foundation it's in the shade CN28 ivory it is a tad dark for me um, especially now that we're going into winter like we're in May now so my tan has from summer has definitely gone um so i'm finding that my foundations that i use during the summer are a bit dark on me so i don't want to bronze up too much because i don't want to be too dark but with a turtleneck like this on you can get away with away with that and then i've got this mac blush in the shade margin I like this because it's um, got a bit of shimmer in it and lately I haven't been using highlight so to have a little bit of shimmer in my blush works well and I do take that right up to my hairline because um, I like to keep it back and keep my face lifted as much as possible so you know look how quickly we're getting through this um, routine it's not hard um, but you know, like I said, I don't, I don't want to waste a lot of time doing my makeup, but at the same time, I want it to look good. So now I'm just doing my eyebrows and I sort of just go back and forth. I don't, I don't do one full and then go onto the other side. I do them basically the same step on either side as we go so i like to underline the bottom there and get that defined and then we do the arch and then i go on the other side and do the arch and then we go up the top So I like this um, Maybelline brow, what is it called? The Brow Ultra Slim. Um, this is in the shade Blonde, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, Blonde, but it is identical to Anastasia Taupe. So the Brow Wiz in Taupe. It, I have both and I swatched them side by side and they were identical in the color. And they have, it has, it has the same feel. So it's not super waxy, but it's not really dry. Um, so it applies very similar, similarly, <laughs> similarly to the Anastasia. So I was pretty impressed. I'm always looking for a good, a good dupe for the Anastasia, even though I always go back to the Brow Wiz. This one is pretty damn close. And then I just use some clear brow gel at the moment. This is just Essence. I'm not the biggest fan of it, but I use what I've got. We've been away. 
and it's been school holidays and then we were back at school for a few days and then we went away on a family holiday and the kids have been all disrupted and then we've had a few public holidays so a bit um, a few long weekends thrown into the mix and i just have no idea what is like what the day is what's going on it feels like it's the middle of school holidays so it's just been crazy here and that's why i haven't been filming because We've been in and out of the house on holidays and just having the kids home for all these long weekends and the school holidays and oh i just feel like nothing like the routine is totally gone that was the um, paint pot in painterly my absolute favorite and i just use a brush now because of my nails i can't get them into the pot anymore and then I like to set that with the big fluffy E40 um, and then I'm using the Tartlet in Bloom palette. I love this palette. It has everything that you need for a one makeup look, you know. And I just set that with the, the lightest shade in the palette which is called Charmer. I'm sure everyone has this palette now. It's that old but I just love it. I was late to the ball, like I was late to the party on this um, particular palette um, and sort of regretting not having it sooner, but I'm making up for it because I use it all the time. And with my mum looks, like with my morning looks for school, I always just use products that I know, you know. I know that I get a good eyeshadow look out of this palette, so I'm not going to sit there and try a brand new palette because I want to be quick and I want it to I want it to know that it will look good, you know. I kind of leave trying out new makeup until I have some time on my own um, where I can sit down and actually do like actually play with that makeup. During the mornings for school when we're all busy and I'm trying to get the kids out of the house and do my makeup, that's when I just use products I know and love. So this is why this palette just gets used a lot because I know it will look good and I use basically the same the same couple of shades. So I've, I've used this all over. I've used Jet Setter in as my crease. I'm going to put a bit of Smarty Pants, which is a warmer shade, a bit lower. And this is basically done. Some days I just like to have a matte look and this will be it. And then other days I do throw Funny Girl, which is that sparkly champagne shade on the lid. So this is, I'm bringing it down in the outer V area, but then also like dragging it straight back up into the crease. So it sort of blows that right out. And I just define the edges, so smooth those out. And I'm actually happy with that. I might not even bother with Funny Girl. Like I said, this is a day look. It's, you know, racing around after the kids. You don't, I don't want to be full glam all the time. And then I'm going to go back into Charmer with Flat Shader. And I'm just going to underline, highlight that brow bone. and also the inner corner. I like it because it's matte. It, I would use Funny Girl and bring that right in if I was going to want a bit of sparkle, but I think I'm good. And then I might just dust off any fallout. I then put on this Scandalized, Rimmel Scandalized Black in the inner rim. But I can't do it without like <laughs> doing this. Do it uh, a little bit. I don't. It just helps create thicker lashes. And then I've just got the Maybelline Lash Sensational Luscious Full Fan Effect Mascara. So I just wipe a little bit of that off and then apply that.
Okay, so I did pur purchase this Revlon Color Stay, what is it, Satin Ink. I'm not entirely sure what the claims are, but I assumed it was a stain. But it's not a stain because it just it does wear off. So I will put that on. I'm just going to line my lips with Mac Strip Down. It's a great nude. Just be gentle because it can get a bit dark, especially if you have light skin. I do find. I um, do like my darker lip liners when my in the summertime when I'm a little bit more tan. And then I'll show you what the satin ink is like from Revlon. I got it in the shade Eyes On You, number six. Which was their most nude. And it's very, it's quite pink and quite dark. So it's a, it is glossy. And that's what it looks like. So that's basically the look. Once you put it all together, it is it's very simple and straightforward, but I've got I've got everything going on. I've got my bronzer and my blush and my eyes are done and lipsticks on. So I do look put together and then I just do a mum bun. So a crazy top knot, <laughs> however that looks, that changes throughout the day because sometimes it will fall out and I'll just keep redoing it all day long. But for now, it's staying put. So this is basically the look that I would do just to do the school run, run a few errands, So thank you so much for watching and being here with me today. I hope you like this mum look. And subscribe, like, comment, and I will see you in the next video. Thanks, guys.